When I went and saw him, he looked devastated. He looked crushed. Went into the 99 cent store to get some napkins. He came out, his cart was gone. I spoke with AJ and said, we gotta do something. We gotta buy him a cart. Went out of our own pockets. Tito gives him a call and he says, hey, uh, come outside, I'm outside. He comes outside and he's just shocked. He's like, what is this? Why is there a cart? Who are these people? And what's that? Found it on Facebook, of all places. I went and, and bought it, and then the, the person I bought it from was in Long Beach. So I brought it home. He didn't know, you know, and uh, we started going to town on it. This thing was in bad shape. We started painting it. We uh, we bought new rims and tires. We got uh, big sleeves, uh, world-renowned tattoo artist. Uh, got him to do some art on it, and then we got Black Sunshine uh, Distribution to do the decals for it. Ice Cube car, he came out like a rap car, he came out incredible. And when I tell you that he was mute, he was mute for an hour. He was, he could not comprehend what was going on. He could not comprehend that that's his new cart. And he could not understand that the community raised him $10,000 on GoFundMe. We created a GoFundMe for him. And in 24 hours, uh, I think we raised five grand or something. And that was the initial goal, it was 5,000. Yeah. It was, yeah, 10, close to 10. We let him know, listen, this isn't us. This is the community, over 300 people who pledged to help you. So understand that your contribution of working hard doesn't go unnoticed. The community sees it and we, the community, respect it. Look at him, he's happy. Thank you guys.